G'day YouTube, 1MJ here. Well, Saturday night here in Australia. Saturday morning, I guess, over in the States. Not a lot of crypto news at the moment. Obviously, you know, over the weekend it slows down a little bit. But this is something that makes me even more bullish. Even though everyone's a little bit bearish at the moment in the short term, this makes me even more bullish in the long term. So the CFT promises to protect the bergening markets for digital assets such as Bitcoin. So yes, regulation, you know, we don't want it to be over-regulated and all the rest of it, but the more, you know, regulated it is to a certain sort of degree, the more sustainable this is and the more chance of upside. I mean, look, I don't think Bitcoin's going to go to zero. I think it's only going to go up from here. It doesn't mean it can't have, you know, some small pullbacks and something truly disastrous happens in all markets. Yes, Bitcoin could go much lower, but I just don't see it happening even with, you know, the president of America, you know, he got sick. We dropped down, you know, a couple of percent. Uh, you know, th there's so much bad news out there at the moment. Uh, and Bitcoin's just holding. It is still around that $10,500 level, you know, where we don't really go above 10800 but we're hardly going below 10500 And we'll have a look shortly. But it's just coiling and coiling and coiling and it's getting tighter and I actually think we're going to move to the upside. But let's go down and have a read. So on Friday, the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, so that's the CFTC, made a fraudster pay back 7.4 million to investors while vowing to protect the Bitcoin market. Never before have we had this. It was always, you know, it was a rogue market and it was all about, you know, drugs and all the rest of it. And now all of a sudden, regulators are coming in, banks are coming in, big business is coming in. They are all slowly getting on board. This is super bullish for crypto. This is going to moon. It's just a matter of time. There's a lot of uh, fear, you know, in, in just markets in general at the moment. Once that all sorts itself out, and it will sort itself out eventually, Corona will eventually be sorted, uh, you know, the, the, the money situation will be sorted, and when that happens, crypto is going to be massive, and this is part of the reason. They're regulating, regulating it, they want to protect people from it, you know, they want to hopefully try and get away from, you know, the gold uh, market being manipulated, and they'll do the same thing with B, uh, Bitcoin, make sure that that doesn't happen, or at least try as best they would you know that's a little bit iffy about you know all of that stuff i'm sure it'll still be manipulated by some and you know depending on who manipulates it very little will happen but it goes on to say per the cft's announcement james mcdonald director of the commission's enforcement division said the cftc will continue working to protect our markets including the bergening markets uh, for digital assets such as Bitcoin from fraudulent schemes and will work in parallel with our criminal law enforcement colleagues where appropriate. Today's announcement concerns John Barry Thompson, who pled guilty to commodity, commit, commodities fraud for convincing two investors to send him over $7 million for a Bitcoin investment scheme that never materialized. It follows a broader trend this week, which has seen an incredibly active CFT uh, CFTC uh, take the helm of a number of enforcement actions in the crypto markets. Just yesterday, the CFTC filed charges against Seychelles uh, domiciled crypto exchange BitMEX for failure to re register as a derivatives exchange in the US. So yes, there's some you know downside to all of this. You know, again, we don't want to be over regulated, but just the fact that regulation is coming in, they're going to start chasing down you know the bad eggs. This makes me super bullish. Could we go down a little bit lower in the near future? Yep, sure we could. Could we go down a lot lower if there's something truly horrific that happens economically to the entire world? Of course we could, but there's no safe haven asset if that happens. If everything really goes to custard, then it doesn't matter what you're in. Bitcoin, cash, all of it, it's going to you know, tumble over and fall. But I don't think Bitcoin will go that much lower. So we go over here, have a quick look at CoinGecko. So we're up a little bit. Now, was the sort of traditional weekend sell-off what kind of happened on uh, Thursday slash Friday? Uh, will we see any more sell-off, you know, tomorrow, Sunday, or maybe even sort of Monday morning? I, I, I'm not really sure we'll see too much. That doesn't mean we can't have any, but I think Bitcoin is holding pretty well at the moment. So here it says, you know, the market cap's up a little bit. You know, it's a little bit of green here, not a whole lot. And don't get me wrong, it could be a bit of a sucker's rally, but I don't think Bitcoin's going that much lower. 
we go over here and have a look at the chart, we can see whenever it gets down to around that sort of $10,500 level, it's being bought up. There's only wicks getting down there and it's quickly being bought up. I've said this a number of times of late, I honestly believe institutional buyers are in there and every time it's dipping down, they're just gradually buying it up, buying it up, buying it up. I don't think we're gonna come down much lower unless something truly horrific happens and then yes, it's possible. But I also put out a tweet today. If no one sells their Bitcoin, the price can't dump. So if someone sells their Bitcoin, that's just panic in the market. I can tell you right, right now, I'm not selling. I really don't care what happens. I mean, you know, short of Bitcoin getting down to, you know, $5,000, $3,000 or something like that, that's, you know, maybe I would consider buying. But even then, I would consider that to be the bottom. Because I said this the other day, here's the bottom of Bitcoin. So 4,800, that's when everything in the world is in utter chaos. That's where we got to, you know, it dropped down a little bit lower to sort of 3,800, a wick down there. But really that's the candle body. This is technically as bad as it can get because people who've been in the game a long time, they're not selling. These people will just hold because they've obviously been in for a long time. So, you know, there's people saying that Bitcoin could go much lower and they're saying come down and test the, you know, almost $9,000 level. Look, that's possible, but I'm just focused on this. This uptrend has held and it's held for a really long time. Again, since way back here, it's held. But again, since right after the Corona crash, so we're talking about the 12th of March, it's just been on an uptrend. That doesn't mean it can't have pullbacks and it may even have some uh, sort of pullback here. But I honestly don't think we're going to come uh, and go past this greater trend line. That's not to say it won't. I just don't think it will. I think we might come down a little bit and possibly touch this. But I think 10,500, uh, it's just a key level and we've bounced off here sort of a number of times. We did with the wick there. We stayed above there. And again, these candle bodies, yes, they're going down, but they're getting smaller and smaller. So that one uh, wasn't too big. That one was a bigger one, but that one was fairly small. And look at this one. I mean, it is the start of sort of, you know, the day over in the States and they're the bigger market, but also Asia as well. It seems to be holding pretty well. So for me, I'm not too panicked. This news that the CFTC uh, is going to, you know, get in and really start to crack down on the bad eggs in the market, that just makes me more bullish. Uh, I'm not buying any Bitcoin just at the moment. I am waiting to see what uh, will happen. I have some orders in for if Bitcoin somehow does go down to 9,000, uh, I'll buy some. And if it goes down to 8,000, uh, I'll buy some as well. But I honestly don't think those orders are going to get filled anytime soon. I have an order at about 10,300 and I'm not sure that that will even get covered. You know, it could do, but we'll just have to wait and see. And, you know, if I buy some at 10,300 and it drops down to 10,000, I'm not too worried because it's not thousands and thousands of dollars or anything like that. And I do suspect if it comes down to 9,000, uh, it's going to rebound pretty hard. But again, I really just don't see it happening. Everything's being bought up at that kind of 10,000. $500 to $400 level, it quickly gets bought up. Uh, and I'm not sure we're going to push through there. There is a lot of talk that, you know, there's going to be a new stimulus package out soon uh, that has, you know, got some people pretty uh, excited. But I guess we'd have to check the fear and greed index. So let's have a look. What do we got here? What's the fear and greed index saying? Because that's a really, really good one to give us a clue of where the markets are. So we're still sort of in that fear section now. It's really been sitting around here for quite some time. So that makes me think that we're probably not going to, oh, excuse me, uh, tumble over and go much lower. Generally, other than when you're in a bear market, but I believe we're in a bull market, if you're in the fearish side, chances are it's probably going to go up. And likewise, when it starts to get in, you know, over enthusiastic and all the rest of it, then that's when it usually takes a big old... Uh, you know, retrace. Uh, that's, you know, from my experience watching the markets over the last few years, this is a fairly good indicator, but it is still kind of neutral at the moment. So this doesn't guarantee uh, that it's going to go up. But in a bull market, if you somehow start to get down here, that's generally a good time to start, you know, if you're into, uh, you know, uh, longing the market, you know, longing and shorting and all the rest of it, 
this would be a good time to start to long the market and then vice versa when it gets way over here and everything's really exuberant if you're into that kind of thing leverage trading that's the word i was trying to think of that might be a time to start you know looking at shorting the market now i don't leverage trade i don't really trade at all i do a little bit of swing trading here and there but i'm mainly just an investor you know again i built my position a number of months back not long after the uh coronavirus uh dip and I've just been sort of DCAing in after that. But at the moment, I am waiting to wait and see what happens. Anyway, sad day evening here. I'm not going to take up too much more of your time. You know, for anyone listening, if you're invested and you believe, just hold. It won't really matter what the market does in the long term. Look, if something truly horrific happens, then we're all screwed no matter what. There's going to be no real winners uh, except for the really, really smart money. And most of us aren't really, really smart money. But the fact that you're in the crypto space, in my opinion, means that you are a little bit smarter than the rest. But you just got to have a bit of steel about you. If you don't have any steel, you're just going to crumble and you're going to fold. Buy, hold if you're in good projects and just wait and you know in years to come particularly bitcoin uh and ethereum and i think xrp personal opinion not financial advice i think they're going to be around for the long term i don't think they're going anywhere i think uh some of the other DeFi projects are going to be around for a while but they are definitely more risky they're still very new we'll have to wait and see well let me know what your thoughts are do you think are uh, we're going to go lower do you think uh, the fear and greed index is a good indicator of the direction uh, that the market can go, whether you're reversing it in a, in a bull market or likewise reversing it uh, in a bear market, although bear market generally, uh, everything's over here. But stay safe, be kind to one another. Pretty hard to be on that gain train at the moment, but maybe some of you were, maybe you're short in the market, and I'll see you next time.